Sleepless in Seattle? That's what she called him on the show because he can't sleep. Sleepless in Seattle, one of the classic movies set in our state. And more recently, this movie was also filmed here. Kimmy? I'm here. Why don't you run for me? Call Darius. Hey, hotness. Wow. Um, did you spy that little cameo there uh, by our very own Brian Flores? Yes, he was in that movie. It was called Kimmy. It was a Steven Soderbergh film, um, which Brian Flores was in. And I think that's really cool because now I have a friend that was in a movie. Uh, and now there's a push, though, to have some more films and shows like that made right here. And our uh, celebrity oh, yeah. correspondent, Fox 13, Brian Flores, Not here true. with more on that. Yeah. I mean, you killed it in that movie. You looked great. R really? I mean, that was like for five seconds. But I'll, I, I'll yeah. take it. I, I did rewind it a couple of times. I, I will say that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. You know, we, we know Seattle makes an awesome backdrop and storyline for the entertainment industry. I mean, as we take a look at the Space Needle, I mean, that is it right there. Uh, there's an increased push, though, from Washington Filmworks and King County Creative uh, to bring more shows and films here, especially after Governor Inslee signed a bill into law this spring, increasing the tax credits filmmakers in Washington can give out. But what's being talked about today are ways to bring Seattle more in collaboration with that push. So in a nutshell, this is what's being discussed today, okay? Uh, trying to find ways to align with state and county priorities when it comes to filmmaking, improving the film permitting process, establishing a Seattle Film Commission, and also launching a Film Seattle brand. Now, there has been investment, as we talked about, in the entertainment industry, at least at the county level. Uh, you may recall last year when the county unveiled Harbor Island Studios in Seattle. This is the location of the former Fisher flour mill. The county says this will provide hundreds of union jobs like carpenters, electricians, and prop masters. Uh, there's already been two pilot projects so far that were filmed there, including uh, season two of Three Busy Debras and season four of Love is Blind. So again, this is going to be discussed during the Seattle City Council meeting. That meeting scheduled to take place this morning at 930. Guys, back over to you.